you can use the sort and filter commands to emulate basic database functionality within Excel. Once you see how this feature works, you will be able to identify places in your work life where this could be useful. There's more than one way to sort data in Excel, so I'm going to demonstrate the way that I think is easiest for beginners. This works when your data is formatted inside of one worksheet with a row of headings that describes the values that are organized beneath each one. Here I have some information about the cast of season one from the Netflix show, Love is Blind. I'll highlight the headings in row one, and on the Home tab in the Editing group, I'll click on the Sort and Filter command and select Filter. An arrow in a square appears in each of the cells in my original selection. Before I reorder the data, notice that I've assigned each of these people a fictional client number, and right now they're ordered 1 to 11. Also, choose someone's information and keep your eyes on it to see how it stays within the same row even as the positions of the rows change. For example, client 9, Kelly, is a health coach. Now I'm going to click on the arrow in cell C1 to reorganize these people by last name. I'll choose sort A to Z to reorder the data by last name in the natural alphabetical order. The sequence of client numbers has been disrupted because the list now presents the data in alphabetical order. Even though Kelly started as the ninth person in this list, she's now the third person because her last name begins with C and two other cast members have last names that begin with B. You can also use the functions that display when you click on the filter symbol to show only some data. I'll click on the filter for sex gender and deselect female to display only the men. The women's data has not been lost, it's just hidden from view. The row numbers on the left now skip certain people. To reveal the entire list, I can click on the filter icon again and clear filter. This is just a simple example to demonstrate the basic principle, but if you had many more categories, each in its own column, and many more people, you could combine the selections you make in each filter to display a specific subset of your data.